Hi, I'm Mia Lee with Adam and Eve's Fork, and we're making mixed berry crisp three ways because who doesn't like a good three way? So today's crisp is going to be a little nutty, a little spicy, and even have something for that basic bitch. So for a basic crisp, you're going to need fruit, butter, and cake mix. For this variation, you're going to need, surprise surprise, some cake mix, almond, pumpkin spice, and just a little kosher salt. And the last variation is our salt and pepper crisp, which is an unlikely variation, but you'd be surprised how far a little spice will go. Since we're making this crisp in three ways, I separated the cake mix into three equal portions. For the second variation, I'm going to add something a little nutty and a little spicy, some almonds, pumpkin spice, and kosher salt. And for the last variation, we're going to make a salt and pepper crisp. Which sounds really freaky deaky, but trust me, black pepper actually pairs really well with strawberries. Let's put that on the final portion of exposed fruit. But it's not done. We're just going to cover this entire thing in butter. So after 60 to 75 minutes, you'll have something like this. For finishing touches, we are just going to top this crisp with some powdered sugar because that makes everything so naughty. So I'm going to be somewhat of a good girl on camera and not eat all of the crisp that I portioned out, but I did take a piece of each crisp on here that is just right for me. Oh, and with ice cream, you gotta, you gotta. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> oh man. Oh. oh, get in me. Get in me. Yeah, you can really taste that the oat texture and that creaminess of the oats get with some heat.